Hey y'all, and thank you for clicking on today's video for three budget-friendly chicken recipes. All three of these recipes I will be making out of this one bag of 10-pound chicken leg quarters I get for $5.72 at Walmart. And actually, I only used half the bag, so really, this whole video only cost me $3. This is extreme budgeting. I consider this one ingredient cooking considering seasonings should already be in your pantry even if it has to be those free salt and pepper packs that come from plastic silverwares so first we're going to remove all the skin from the chicken leg quarters and then place them at the bottom of an instant pot that i've put the wire rack in do not throw these skins away then we're going to add a teaspoon each of garlic powder uncle chris's steak seasoning no salt seasoning from costco and salt Then we're gonna add six cups of water or just enough water to almost completely cover the chicken leg quarters inside the Instant Pot. To cook the chicken meat, we're gonna set it on pressure cook high for 30 minutes. Once it's done, we're gonna release the pressure on the valve on the top of the lid, and then we're gonna remove the meat and replace all of the bones and anything that we're not gonna shred up and eat back into the pot. So that includes gristle, small bones, big bones, those little knuckles at the end, all of it. I went ahead and added two more cups of water and a teaspoon of salt. You could really add two teaspoons of salt, but some days I don't want my broth to be that salty, so I just do one. Now we're gonna pressure cook on high for an hour and a half or 90 minutes. Once that's done, we're gonna pull out the big bones and strain what's left through cheesecloth inside of a colander, inside of a big pot, and then pour that into jars. Let these glass jars completely cool before you refrigerate them. Next, after well rinsing the chicken skins, we're gonna go ahead and soak them in vinegar for 30 minutes to clean them. If you don't like the taste of vinegar, I'd suggest diluting it a little bit. I was testing this out to see if they'd come out like salt and vinegar chips. They did not come out tasting vinegary at all. Next, we're gonna rinse off the vinegar very well and pat the chicken skins as dry as possible. Then we're gonna spray, spray a foil lined baking pan with some nonstick spray and lay the chicken skins out in a single layer as thin as possible. Top them off with a little bit more nonstick spray and a generous amount of salt and pepper. I treat these like chicken chicharrones. I absolutely love these as a snack or a topping. I bake them for an hour at 350 degrees and flip them halfway through. This does render down a lot of chicken fat, which you can set aside. I poured it out and listen to this crisp. Uh, these were so good and then at the end I am showing you a couple of recipes I made I did throw some chicken into a skillet with some bacon fat and I turned them kind of like into chicken carnitas Which you can see here and then I also added some broth and the chicken meat with a little bit of scrambled egg and fish sauce and Asian flavors and made egg drop soup Thanks for watching